Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today, I'm going to be showing you how LEGO pneumatics work. And some other stuff. Let's get started. Okay guys, so I'm going to explain how a piston works. So, this piston, same design as any other piston, um, works by using a rod and a like plung like a plunger kind of thing in the middle and it pushes air inside of this chamber inside of here so these two holes you can push air into and then this rod will extend or um, retract so you put air into this this will go out and then you put in air into this it'll go back down and uh, that's kind of how it would work. As you can see with this example here, that's how it works. Because this is a pump. So we press down on this, it's pushing air out one way, one way um, valve. So when I use this, and I'm using this valve here to switch the airflow. From going to the top and to the top inlet or the bottom inlet, it's making it go up or down. Now I'm going to show you uh, all the different pistons and other parts that come with the pneumatic set. So this is the biggest piston. So it's got a very large chamber in here, and it. It takes up the most air and it's the strongest out of all of them. So you can use this on things that like a crane or something that you really need strength. Um, this next one is just the same length, extends the same length, but it has a smaller chamber so you won't use as much air. And I don't know if you can see that, but you can actually see the thing in the middle moving back and forth so that's this one's good for less air but a long extension next one is a very very small piston so this is the smallest out of all of them and this one you barely need any air at all and it extends only about an inch or so. And this one would be for like, mm, they're just really small stuff. That's basically what it should be used for. This next piece is a valve. So you turn this valve like that. Air flows through this hole in the bottom and it will come out of this hole and you switch it like this, it'll air will flow through here and come out of this hole. So you switch it to the opposite side that you want air to come out of. Next piece is a large pump. So it's a one-way pump. Uh, you can use this for like filling up an air tank, which I'll get to in a second. Um, you can use this for, that's really it, uh, this could be used for if you just want to pump up like a piston, like this, okay. or yeah, just pump up an air tank, so you can use these for, there's this big version, and then there's the small version, so this version is really small. Like every pump is about one of these tiny guys. And this one can be used for just pumping up a small piston. Or, yeah, just pumping a small piston. And they can work well together if you pump up it with a bunch of them. Next piece is a, um, it's a extend extension for a, ho a hose so you can put a hose on one side 
and then put a ho another hose on the other side and you can just extend the hose if you just have like two short ones and you want to make it longer and it has a little axle spot so you can attach it next piece is a Y piece or a T so you can all these th three holes connect to each other and you can put like two hoses together to create one or one hose to get two this next piece um, I'm kinda weirded out by because it has it could be used as like a block but this piece at the bottom here it's just a dead end I don't know why but it is and then this here Air can go through here, so it's like an extension. And that's really, I don't know how I can use this, but that's what it is. And then you got your hose. So there's different kinds, because I've ordered like another set, and the hose is like stronger. But this, like Lego hose, is squishy, and you can just cut it easily, and um, you can. Yeah, you can use it. You have to use it, you know, of course, for these. And, uh, yeah, now I'm going to get to the air tanks. Now I'm going to talk to you about air tanks. So, you can make a custom air tank out of a bottle, and then you can just cut a hole in the top cap of your bottle, and then you can put a piece through that hole, this and then you can put a hose on the top of that you want to press fit that piece into there because you don't want any leaks and then you just put this onto your bottle and then I can pump this up with my pump and these custom ones are great for holding more air than just this air tank here. I really prefer the custom. And just pump it up like this. And you can hear that. Air is going in there. And they can just hold a lot of air. Like I'd have to do this a lot of times to pump it up. Next is an air tank. So you can just put your hose on one side and then block the other, but I don't do that. Uh, and then just pump up your air tank. I'm just going to block that other hole. And then you just pump it up. I think the max pressure is like 20, 25 psi for these. So don't pop it up too much because the first time I had this, I messed it up and had to fix it. So there you go. That's the air tanks you can use for your new Max. This last one I left out because it's a very special part is the air gauge. So got a hole right here in the bottom and you just connect your air tank to this with a T piece and then you can monitor what your PSI is so this goes up to four and a quarter bar or 60 PSI and it's really helped me because I just I can monitor my PSI and I can know what my pistons are getting and it's really nice quality too. And you got six holes here, so you can mount it onto whatever you'd like. So, um, yeah. Like and subscribe, please, and I'll see you in the next video.